Hi everyone, welcome to a short presentation on the Internet of Things and the Industrial Internet of Things. In less than 20 years, we've seen great technological evolution, significant among them, the Internet of Things to the Industrial Internet of Things. These innovations are envisaged as solutions to new challenges and possibilities. So what exactly is IoT and how does it differ from IIoT? Regarding the Internet of Things, this is the proliferation of smart objects, including cars, home appliances, devices, which connect the physical world to the digital world, whereby a human interacts with such devices to gain benefits, improve their consumer experience and convenience. An example of this would be the connected home appliances that will reduce your monthly bills by managing resource usage, automatically turning off electricity when you leave home, or by adjusting the room temperature based on the current climate. One example of this is Google Nest, which aims to create a more thoughtful home. This example of home automation is a programmable thermostat that learns what temperatures you like, turns itself down when you're away, and can be controlled from anywhere over Wi-Fi. Users can log onto their Nest accounts and change the temperature, view and adjust their schedule or settings, and see exactly how much energy they are using. It also gathers data from other products, including cars, ovens, fitness trackers, and even sensor-equipped beds to help save energy and stay safe. Another example is the baby monitoring app, MIMO. Available for both iOS and Android, this enables parents to track their baby's vitals in real time, while also giving them a handy analytics style overview of the breathing and sleep patterns over time. One more example is the pet tracker. Vodafone has developed the V Pet Tracker Pod 3, a lightweight device that can attach to the collar of your pet. You can then monitor the activity and geographic location of your pet via your smartphone to ensure their safety and well-being. Regarding the industrial Internet of Things, the only difference between IoT and IIoT are their general usages. While IoT is most commonly for consumer usage, IoT is used for industrial purposes such as manufacturing, supply chain monitor and management system. IoT uses more sensitive and precise sensors, including more location aware technologies on the supply chain side with sophisticated advanced controls and analytics. Both concepts have the same main character of availability, intelligent and connected devices. Both IoT and IIoT are communication-based ecosystems, but IoT is intended exclusively for household usage in the commercial sector, while IoT pertains to the industrial sector. They both have common concepts like data management, connectivity, data security, and a secure cloud. But while IoT devices often rely on the omnipresence of mobile devices to connect to smart home devices, smart cars, and devices for facilitating routine life tasks, IoT deals with connectivity for smart factories, machines, management systems, and more to streamline business operations. This has led to innovations like the smart factory and predictive technology. Major differences between IoT and IoT also include scale of operation and volume of data gathered. IoT generates medium or high volumes of data, while IoT generates massive amounts of data. A single turbine compressor blade can generate more than 500 gigabytes of data per day. So this includes big data, cloud computing, machine learning as necessary computing requirements. IoT also uses more sensitive and precise sensors, including more location aware technologies. Some more examples, drones to monitor oil pipelines, sensors to monitor smart factories, drilling equipment, excavators, earth movers, tractors, sprayers in agriculture. Smart cities may be a mix of commercial and IIoT, whereas IoT consumer level devices have a low risk of impact when failure happens. They may be important and convenient, but breakdowns do not immediately create emergencies. Since IIoT connects critical machines and sensors in high stake industries such as aerospace, defense, healthcare and energy, these are the systems in which failure often results in life-threatening or other emergency situations. Some more examples of IIoT. Firstly, smart parking. Using an app, drivers can quickly find a parking spot instead of driving around or paying high parking rates at a garage. 
This saves the driver time, fuel and money. Assisting law enforcement. This allows people to inform on parking in loading docks or restricted areas. Law enforcement can use a type of smart parking platform to find parking violations and enforce citations as well. This will deter those that are parking irresponsibly, but it will also increase parking fines which help cities pay for necessary expenses. Also reduces congestion from air pollution to traffic based accidents. There are plenty of reasons why cities want to get cars parked faster. Cities will also have a better understanding of whether or not they need to open more parking options as they will have data on driving patterns and parking spaces. They can then use this information to prepare for big events when more parking is required. Investment in this technology will mean less congestion and likely fewer accidents on the road and better emergency response times which make for better city living for all. Another example. Smart Waste and Recycling Big Belly is a smart waste management system designed to save money and reduce greenhouse gases. Across the UK, people are starting to see Big Belly bins on the high street. The high-tech Big Belly smart bins use solar power to compact litter, so it can hold up to eight times more litter than a normal bin, and cloud-enabled connectivity notifies council staff when they need emptying. This prevents unnecessary trips to check empty or partially full containers. The smart bins are designed so that people cannot simply toss things in, they have to make a choice, pull a lever or step on a foot pedal to open the bin. This helps people make a mindful decision about recycling. This will help minimise the risk of contaminants like food and dirty diapers being thrown into recycle bins. No doubt road, rail and sea logistics will change radically due to IoT and the advent of 5G. The use of 5G and IoT will speed up transportation of goods by rail, road and motorway immensely. There will exist large networks of vehicles, trailers and carriages, hubs and depot sorting, delivering post and goods, all with the capability to talk to each other. Tracking deliveries would be possible in real time. This would boost efficiency between warehouses and distributors, giving customers a clearer idea of delivery timings. We will increasingly see the deployment of robots and drones in this area. So as you can see, IoT can massively improve connectivity, efficiency, scalability, time savings and cost savings for industrial organisations. Companies are already benefiting from IoT through cost savings due to predictive maintenance, improved safety and other operational efficiencies. In the future, IoT will continue to enhance our lives as consumers, while IoT will enable the efficient management of the entire supply chain. The potential of this technology is monumental. However, we can only imagine how it might continue to change and redefine the way we live and work over the course of the next 20 years. That is why it is essential for industry leaders to monitor how IoT is reinventing the industry. This is especially important in the age of big data, and as more and more connected devices will lead to a constant accumulation of complex data, and soon companies will have no choice but to rely on artificially intelligent systems to process and analyse this information. We hope you like this short video on the differences between IoT and IIoT. As always, comments and suggestions are very welcome. Please feel free to post them in the comments box below. Thank you.